time driving the mug officially on the beach. That was so cool. That was awesome. That was so, so cool. So now with the drone, we actually spotted like a little bay on the other side. So that's where we're heading now. Doesn't look too soft as well, which is really, really amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Just so many trucks everywhere. We have no idea where we're Just exploring we're now. That's so cool. Tire pressures are the lowest we've ever done. We've got 30 in the front, 40 on the rear, so we can still go down to 2020. And um, yeah, that ate it. That was like sand dune sand, so that was cool. Have a go at that. Incredible. A bad spot you've got there. Not bad at all, is it? <laughs> it's me, you, and our truck. This is nuts. We just had really nice workout. It's been actually quite a while we haven't trained. We did a lot of like hiking, swimming, and all that kind of thing. But like a proper workout was very much in order, and we instantly feel so much better, especially in a spot like this. A beach workout for me is like here. Because then yep. you jump in the ocean and then we've got a shower and that's a rinse. <laughs> it so just nice. can't get more so perfect. The temperature is perfect. We've done the most sheltered. calm, sheltered little bay. It's mm. just perfect. Exactly what we needed. Don't but think you're better than this. After we left that last uh, spot where you saw us on last week's video, quite a few kind of like not rough days but not as good days that we had before. So coming here is definitely better. Yeah, we had like a few very, very, very hot days where we had to crank the air con at the caravan park. We had a few issues with our onboard air compressor, which Chris will touch base on in the coming days. And just arriving in Esperance where it's super, super busy. So it's nice to kind of like actually go away and find like some little peaceful and remote base like this. Definitely makes it worth it. So good. I'm just gonna watch the sunset. Yeah. I'm just chill. Haven't spotted any white sharks yet, so I'm keeping my beady eyes out. And then maybe go for a spear tomorrow if I can pluck up the courage to, I think. And it's very tricky. There's been an attack recently in Esperance from a great white, but it was much closer to town, which we are around 100 kilometers away from. So fingers crossed. If you're unfamiliar with the Esperance area, it's sort of notorious for white shark attacks. Um, there have been a few really bad fatal ones and um, the locals, as far as I'm aware, the locals are a bit sick of it. They want some of these white sharks put down, but um, it doesn't stop a lot of people getting in the water still mm. and um, I just need to be smart, not go out too far, not do silly things, not take silly risks, but I still need to eat. So um, yeah, I'll still probably go in, but I'll be very careful.
making my favorite breakfast this morning banana pancakes so if you've been watching for a while you know already the recipe for Chris I double up but this is for mine one banana two eggs and some flour this is the flour I use just some chickpea flour for extra protein this is delicious pack with protein good fats good carbs perfect way to start the day so I'm just gonna cook those these are Chris toppings of choice it's got a little selection there I just like just normal peanut butter with no added salt or any sugar or anything like that and we're gonna have breakfast on the beach it's just such an insane spot like a, I just can't can't believe we're here it just feels so 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 good breakfast delivery wait with your boy Breakfast is ready! Oh. I'm so lucky. All of the toppings of choice. Oh yeah. Look at that. What's your favorite pancake topping? Peanut butter and jam. <laughs> and the best. Oh, no. Breakfast year. Yeah. What have you done? Well, it looks like I'll be eating with my hands. <laughs> Pretty typical though. It's like a pizza. Mmm. And it's already dinner time. Or snack time for Chris. Snack time. <laughs> So we haven't actually filmed much today. This morning we went on like a big, big walk to try to find some abalones. Unfortunately, we haven't found any, but hopefully we can find some in the coming days in other spots that we need to check out. So yeah, we just came back to the mug. It was a bit of a cast. I finished my book that I was reading, which is The Barefoot Investor, and I've started my other book, which is a little Spanish book. So I'm trying to, I guess, learn new skills and improve and keep my current skills so i used to be very proficient in spanish before i arrived in australia and i've lost it all so i don't know why i just felt like i really want to get back into it especially if in the coming years we end up in south america i think that will be very useful what about you what have you been up to today i just trained and we went on a big hike earlier and i did a bunch of maintenance on the mog so Exhaust pipe keeps trying to leave the Unimog. I keep having to strap it in. This time I'm using wire, so hopefully that'll stick. And did a little bit with the cabinetry. And I've spent the last kind of hour brainstorming different kind of future upgrades that we want to do on the MOG. One of them being being able to carry lots more free weights. So a barbell uh, bumper plate so we can do even better fitness workouts and also carrying a potential electric motorbike. So that's that's the main goal for me, um, getting that on the back of the MOG, I think. So just trying to brainstorm a little bit of that. So that's been fun. And other than that, just relaxing. Good. Also, when we arrived in Espanol a few days ago, obviously we had to stop at Bennings. It's been way too long and we purchased a few things. And the one thing I'm really happy about is this little guy over here. A bamboo if you watch the video from last year from the build in one of the video I said I wanted a bamboo and here it is finally after six months I got one and my fairy light jar so romantic a new little practical addition to the drawers a few people have actually asked recently how we make them secure we add some blue tape in the past videos you may have seen because we were scared they were going to open and break but now this is not necessarily, I guess, the prettiest, but it's still not really noticeable and it's really handy and so far it's been brilliant, it's not gonna go anywhere. So this is the kind of like little addition that we are doing along the way and I'm sure there will be many more to come. I've made Chris addicted to hummus now as well. If you Love don't it. like hummus, you need to get onto it. It's just the best snack ever. Best snack ever, but don't burn the bread. You know what best snack ever is? Peanut butter and jam. All right, let's do a battle in the comments. 
are you a peanut butter and jam person or are you a hummus person? Peanut butter and jelly. Let's see who wins. I trust you to be on my side again this time. Nope. <laughs> Go the boy. <laughs> Team Ange. Good morning. So currently I'm on the passenger seat, but I'm about to change seat with Chris and drive the mug on the beach for the first time. Let's do it. All right, driver swap. <laughs> Man, this seat is a lot higher. I'm like, <laughs> this is this is dangerous for my head. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm trying to put a seat belt. Where does it? Work? You got the wrong seat belt. <laughs> <laughs> This is a special truck, it has two seat belts. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Alright, that looks bad. Okay, cool. so we've got handbrake needs to go forward. Yeah, handbrake off. Forward. You're in forward. We are in third gear. No, you're in neutral. Neutral. In the third gate. Okay. Third gate, but in neutral. So, so clutch, clutch all forward. the way in. Yes. Now hand forward nice and slow. In. Good. Bit of accelerator. Nice. Okay, you're driving. Awesome. So take your time. Yay, and driving. How's trucker range? <laughs> Oh, that's a bit stressful, but that's okay. I'm getting a bit more comfortable with it. Yeah. It's so different from anything I've driven before. Yeah. It, it's. <laughs> I think the steering wheel is the one thing that is really, really different from anything. Yeah. More like a bus. <laughs> Doing great. Must have been very windy last night on this side because most of the tracks are gone and it's a little bit more windswept. So. But still, yeah, it's a good drive. We're not in any chance of even having to go into four-wheel drive, really, at the moment. We've got a good time, Richard. Yeah. Ange absolutely nailed that. So, so good. Very, very proud. We'll just do that a little bit more often, and then I'm sure Ange's confidence will be right up there. So, we've just stopped on the side of a track. And we were going to have breakfast, but we've decided there'll be the least amount of traffic now, basically. So Ange is just securing a few things in the camper, namely the, the two Kmart chairs we have. They go on the floor. And uh, yeah, we're going to do some early morning off-roading to get to a breakfast spot. So Ange will probably be on the Sony. I'm going to resume driving and uh, we'll get it done. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Trying something new. <laughs>
Final part. All right, let's go. Okay, a bit more passenger. You good? Yeah, you're good. Perfect. A bit more passenger. Perfect. Okay, stop your digging. So close. It's just the front tire here. Do you want me to dig a little bit? Alright. She's soft. The last few meters. Is that with me and I can put it at the front if need be? I'm gonna reverse a bit. Okay. Bring the next jacks forward. on the floor. the max tracks on wow. the floor <laughs> we've lost four max tracks <laughs> man this... that was nuts that Just... is 
that little segment. That is so soft. Are you ready to dig? Yep. <laughs> yes. Ugh. One. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you do the right side, I do the left. This is why you must always put the leash on the max tracks. <laughs> well, there was one here, so they would be yeah, towards here. Oh. Ah, found it! Nice. At least you can feel it. <laughs> okay, there's two. Will that be a back tyre? How many did you put on the back tyre? One. Only one So side. there'll be one more be here. Two, yeah, two at the front. It was like a little highway. So it'll be really close to it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, but I, as you were driving, I saw them disappearing on the track. I was like, holy. That's how soft this is. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh. What a track! Wow! All before breakfast! <laughs> Alright, so a few things happen here. First, I'll show you how soft this is. You can probably tell, but. <laughs> like bottomless, soft, soft sand. So, a few things happen here. First off, didn't try and get a run up whatsoever, just tried to tractor in first gear with diff locks on, which I want to practice. We are still at 40 PSI on the rear, 30 in the front. Can definitely have dropped tire pressure, but I wanted the max tracks to get a workout, see how effective those are. And then my next port of call would have been more tire pressure down. If that still hadn't have worked, we would have then started digging or finding a few rocks to add more traction. And if that hadn't worked, would have had to have reversed it out and then try to run up. Now we haven't dug the track up at all. This is super, super soft. So there's no tracks, it just, it disappears. That's how soft this is. So awesome. So breakfast time, yeah. we'll level the truck out now and we are, Away laughing in a new spot. Man, what a mission. <laughs> Have we finally managed to level the truck? Worth it for that view though, hey? Look at that. Such a beautiful day. I'm so hungry. Are you hungry? 